Refugees have limited rights to move outside their camps or even register businesses and own property. Nevertheless, having lost their homes and countries in different circumstances, a group of refugees are opting to transform their tribulations into opportunities. Caroline B is just back from Kakuma refugee camp in the county of Turkana, where she encountered some refugee tailors who are rewriting their life stories. Take a look. Kakuma refugee camp is never short of talent and ambition. Most of the refugees work hard to make ends meet, considering that they arrived into the country with very little of their own. At a small shop in the outskirts of the Kakuma refugee camp stands a small fashion label, Ref Threads. First-time visitors are welcomed into the store with fabric writings inscribed on a wire mesh. The writing means the tailors in this workshop are proud of their livelihood in the camp. Inside are tailors putting a thread on textile to meet stipulated deadlines for delivery. Their merchandise is handmade, soon out of colorful kitenge fabric. The Ref Threads tailors, 13 in number, arrived into Kakuma after fleeing conflict in their home countries. At the refugee camp, formal work is illegal and most refugees survive on UN donations. However, to reduce the dependence on aid, specialized vocational courses such as tailoring are available for those ready to earn a living. Tofik, the group's leader, says when the group started in 2012, it had a total of 20 members, but some pulled out after a rocky start. The group has now achieved a lot, and anyone willing to join the batch must have sky-high tailoring skills. Their unique designs are mostly admired and purchased by foreign visitors on tour at the refugee camp and guests from Nairobi. The profits from the purchases go directly to the refugee tailors. The pricing of the bags vary depending on the sizes. Some of the refugees arrived into the camp with tailoring skills and it was their duty to pass on the craft to members who were learning at the time. The process of selecting the sewing materials for the customers is a sophisticated yet seamless process. We have a picture, we have a shop, we have a picture. The one who has a picture, he has a picture that he has a picture. Delay in payments is a challenge the group has to face every time they produce bags in mass. We have a lot of bags, bags, and we have a lot of bags. We have a lot of bags. The group's funding by UNHCR hopes to increase their sales and in future broaden their expertise outside the refugee camp since they have limited movement rights. Nonetheless, one of the tailors has been selected to accompany Kenya's high-end fashion house Kiko Romeo for the Senegal Fashion Week to showcase his skills. Caroline B, KTN News.